What's up guys, this is going to be for Capricorn Love, rest of March, we're into April now, 2023, or whenever you resonate with this message, feel free to reach out for one-on-one -on -one reading as always, runningontero.com, running on tarot across all social media. Appreciate all your guys' donation tip, donations, tips, love, support in any capacity, any facet, any way, shape, or form. Hope you guys had a good weekend. Trying to finish these love readings for you. Spread of gratitude, draw love and light, highest possible messages at this time for Capricorn love. And or if you're not a Capricorn, feel free to apply this to your 10th house if you're a cross watcher. You could Google that use those categories as a lens to see your love relationship spirit. This is romantic. Friend, family, we'll read for the narrative, we'll read for the storyline and see what comes out here. Okay, Ten of Pentacles in the reverse position. This is out of legacy, out of partnership, out of household, out of inheritance, out of something. And yet I still see victory. It could be even in the face of you, you know, being not a part of this kind of dynasty or franchise, I feel as though that you're building your own here. Okay, this reading has an emphasis on love. There's been times where you've had this instability, but you're building your bedrock. You're building your platform here. You've had to move in some sort of lack of resources. Um, but you have potential. I think you're, you're, you have that belief still, okay? And you're still feeding and watering that belief within yourself. Yes, nothing's perfect, but you're having a resurgence. You're having a rebirth here is what I feel, especially with this full moon cycle, with this full moon energy. You're getting out of the theoretical and you're moving into um, this kind of blessing here. The star card in the upright is a wish fulfillment, a blessing, a miracle come true here. And it's going to be as a result of you sticking to your ethic. Yes, you've been seeing the hard times. You've been seeing the wheel stuck, but it can't be stuck forever. The three of wands in the reverse haven't been able to see the future, but the empress is here. She's been in labor, so things have been getting harder and harder. It's because there is some, some sort of monetary financial investment coming down the pike coming down the pipeline with the Ace of Pentacles in the reverse. You've been investing in your work. You've been investing in all things in relation to, you know, productiveness and output and quality. You see the Emperor here has been fighting as well. Both Divine Masculine and Feminine have been struggling, but I feel as though they're going to meet once again in this kind of purity in this rarefied air here. Okay, as a result of discipline, as a result of learning what it is that they should be calling into humanity for the greater good. I see a lot of rejection of unmet potential suitors or prospects that don't cut the grade. I see so many endings lining up and leading to new beginnings here. Okay, endings of effort, endings of extraneous effort, loves that didn't work, backstab, betrayal, but it's all leading to this divine union here of a counterpart that's worthy of you. Again, with the Empress and the Emperor here. Okay, unified at last again under the Four of Wands here. Okay. Anything else, Spirit? Anything else? Okay, someone's been holding on tightly. Okay, they've been expressing themselves correctly. Okay, they've been communicating, reaching out, staying connected resurrecting the good the good uh, people in their lives. They've been strategizing, still fighting tooth and nail every day, I feel. And it's because they're moving to something high quality, high caliber, that twin flame soulmate relationship. This person has been battling. This protagonist has been battling. King of Pentacles in the reverse. It could be finances or resources that have been a hardship, and yet they're still going to receive some sort of emotional solace here that's going to help them come out of worry. Okay. Uh, it could be some sort of masculine energy here, overseeing here, um, seeing the work, seeing the effort. Okay, they like the cut of your jib here. I see double victory, double beginning, new action, new success and victory here. Sudden change, a striking moment. I see it as positive though. I see it as positive here. Somebody is overseeing a crossroads decision. Someone is taking a leap of faith here, out and about, something away from the household. Um, I 
feels as though justice is finally being carried out in some way after so long of it not being available to you. I feel like someone's getting compensated here, finally. Okay, there's been like almost this kind of overdue compensation, this overdue payment, if you will, is what I'm getting here. Spirit, anything else, anything else here, spirit, anything else here, spirit. It's almost as if somebody like stopped expecting some sort of gift or blessing. They've turned cold. Someone is very much so pushed into this coldness because they haven't been receiving this kind of blessing or this karmic justice or they've been fighting month in and month out and I'm getting that like they've been getting like little peaks of miracles and blessings but I feel like this month is going to be a very big blessing, okay? It might even be in the form of a significant other. I feel as though it's going to be a monetary blessing as well. I see it twofold. I see love and money really kind of getting hit in the face here positively to your benefit. Um, I just, I'm just, you know, thematically we've been reading about this energetic desert that, that our protagonist has been going through, that our hero has been going through. And I feel as though that he's been only been able, he or she has been only been able to get by month by month with these little mini miracles and blessings and pennies from heaven and somehow scrapping by. But I'm feeling like those days are over. I'm feeling like the scratching by and the scrapping by, those days are over. They're done with. We're starting a new season, a new cycle, the beginning of the energetic new year. And I just feel like blessings and blessings and ships are coming in here. Okay. Yeah, wish fulfillment here, coming out of your mind, coming out of overthinking. You're finally seeing options. You're finally able to utilize and or take options. And I see like a bright future here. I see continuous strategizing, continuous learning, continuous fighting back, okay, building your own thing, not, not having to like throw in the towel or kiss the fish, so to speak, kiss the frog. Three a cup in the upright. This is these are good times. Good times are coming here. Okay, this is summertime energy. Okay, the Empress has been in labor because she's giving birth to to ways in which you could strengthen your system day in and day out, not having to fight as much. Okay, learning from lessons and thus being blessed and being empowered here. Okay, this Empress is is giving birth to a scenario where the emperor uh, is able to uh, be met. I feel that the divine masculine and feminine are going to unify somehow, some way, through this divine intervention, through this tower moment in the upright, as it were. Okay, because the empress is giving birth to some sort of seeker, someone that's seen something that is incomplete. It's not over until I've won. And I feel like the tower ushers in this victory with the emperor. And so the symbolism is that the Empress meets the Emperor somehow because this person still remained open. Okay, they went through hard times and I feel like they have went through the worry, they, they've been pushed back into the corner, but I feel as though that they're hitting their stride again and because there's always that return and there's always that not giving up even when you're down and out, I feel like that's why you're being rewarded finally. Even if there is no objectively outside of yourself some sort of divine presence you can only lose so much before you finally get that one strike of the sledgehammer that sends that wall tumbling down and that's what i'm seeing here i'm seeing these endings of these hardships and these hard times here and finally that real unification that you've been waiting for i think it's coming twofold i don't think it's just coming in the form of a relationship i feel like it's coming in um, financially as a monetary blessing. I see it as like a two-pronged victory here. All right? So very cool here. I'm going to leave it there. Feel free to reach out to your boy for a one-on-one -on -one reading. As always, love you guys. Holla at your boy. Peace.